In this video, we'll download and install Wowza Streaming Engine locally on Windows, confirm that Wowza Streaming Engine is running, sign into Wowza Streaming Engine Manager for the first time, and play a video on demand test stream. The most recent version of Wowza Streaming Engine can be downloaded from our website on the downloads page. If you haven't already purchased a license, you'll need to register for a free trial to get a trial license. Wowza Streaming Engine is available for local or remote installation on Windows, 64-bit Linux, and Mac, although we don't recommend running on a Mac as the transcoder will not operate. Cloud deployments are also available for Amazon EC2, Microsoft Azure, and Alibaba Cloud. Once you've downloaded the executable, run the installer, allowing it to make changes to your device. The Wowza Streaming Engine installer will initialize, and once you've accepted the license agreement, you'll need to enter your license and create an administrator account. Now for this install, we'll have Wowza Streaming Engine start automatically and be installed in the default location. It'll take a few minutes for the installation to complete, but once it's finished, it'll open the browser automatically to access Wowza Streaming Engine Manager. You'll want to remember this URL. Wowza Streaming Engine is a powerful Java-based media server that allows you to transmux, transcode, and simulcast your live streams and video on demand. This gives you the greatest audience reach since your live video streams, which may come from many devices, can play on the most cutting-edge platforms as well as out-of-date hardware and software that use older protocols. To log in, you'll need to use the administrator account you set up during installation. You'll also want to create a source username and password for added security of your streams. Once in Wowza Streaming Engine Manager, you can verify that everything's working properly by going to Applications in the menu and testing the VOD default application. This is an MP4 file that can be streamed to players using multiple protocols. We can use the test player to verify it's working on protocols this browser accepts. While this often requires plugins to be installed, MPEG Dash usually works by default. For HLS, under mobile, we can copy the iOS link. We'll test the streaming protocol using VLC Media Player, which works with RTMP, RTSP, and HLS. Thanks for streaming, and have a great day.